Hello friends, Yossi here. Today we're going to look at NIA Costa Rica. NIA is an unbelievable new project. It is a master plan community with over 4,000 residential units. And this is a place you want to look at if you want to invest in Costa Rica. My name is Yossi Kaplan. I'm a Toronto realtor and I also work in Costa Rica. I am officially approved by the developer to represent this development to anyone in the world, in Canada, in the United States, and any other country. In this webinar, I'm going to give you the basics of NIA. It is a master plan project, a master plan community. It's well over 2,200 acres. It's basically a small town. So let's go. This is NIA. NIA is a large development, brand new. The land has been purchased and it's going to have an artificial fresh water lagoon designed by Crystal Lagoons in the center. The entire project is designed by Gensler, which is a large uh, company that designs many, many projects all over the world. This map shows you Costa Rica and many destinations that people come to Costa Rica from. The location of NIA is next to Liberia's International Airport. Costa Rica has two main airports, in the north, Liberia, and in the center, the capital. We are at Liberia, okay? This is the size of NIA. It is almost the size of Liberia itself, just so you get an idea. Now, this land is not at the coast, but it's closer to the airport and closer to the town. From here, to the water, to the ocean, is about an hour and a half, give or take. A bit about Guanacaste, which is the province, the state which we are. It means the beautiful coast. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is green. It is friendly and is well off. The economy of Costa Rica is exploding, and so are the real estate values. This is the NIA master plan. You can see, this is no joke. This is not built over many years, patch after patch, but everything was designed to start with, okay? Here in the center, where you see 12, this is the lagoon, the crystal lagoon, and all these yellowish areas around are where the condos are gonna come around the lagoon. These are, in my opinion, the best areas to invest in, and this is where we focus. You'll find units here from the high 200s, which means USD, United States dollars, 200,000 up the top 2,000, up to about half a million. This is phase one. Phase one still has units. It is uh, the least expensive phase, and as you know, as any pre-construction buyers know, every phase costs a little bit more. <clears throat> now the increase in price could be 5, 10, 15, or 25 percent. It has a lot to do with the acceptance of the project which so far has been phenomenal. It's basically marketing itself. And the fact that Costa Rica's real estate is increasing by an average of about 20 to 25 percent a year after year, especially in the last few years. And the reason is, is because Costa Rica was very friendly all these years. A lot of expats, which means people from other countries coming to live in Costa Rica. It is clean. It is safe. Uh, the economy is good. And it's, it's, it lives in peace. What you see here are the buildings, the phase one buildings, and the lagoon. And behind them, some more structures and parking. Okay? Is actually an entire village built here. So let's take a quick look. The village is completely designed and built from scratch. Okay, everything is brand brand new. Um, the sand will be imported to Costa Rica because, as you know, the Pacific coast of Costa Rica, Nicaragua, that entire area has more of a black sand. So to bring that gold sand, it's going to be imported truck after truck after truck. Uh, this place is safe, it's a giant gated community, uh, it's got all the shops, it's got bike rentals, it's got 
supermarket, it's got everything you need to live either as a tourist or to live around the clock. Now, obviously, these units for investors are very appealing because it's a hands-off white glove investment. All you got to do is purchase the unit and there's a very organized way of how to purchase these units and these units are well priced. I calculated in about give or take if you're Canadian about $500 a foot a little bit less a little bit more. Uh, so that's about a third of the price that will, you will now pay in Toronto uh, to live in Nia. Okay? Um, you, it's, if you think about it, it's kind of a mini Vegas or a very large Collingwood or whatever you want to see it, but the temperatures are high, uh, you can swim every day. Uh, as you know, Costa Rica and the entire area has a wet season and a dry season. And all these units can be managed for you. So if you're an investor, okay, and you want to buy a unit for investment and to <clears throat> separate your investments a little bit, not to put all your eggs in one basket, NIA could be a very good opportunity. And there are two main reasons why I got so attracted to this development, besides the fact that it's Costa Rica and all that. Number one is the price is a very good and number two is the deposits are very, very low here. Smaller projects in Costa Rica, especially when you buy homes, and you can look at my presentation for Riverland, require high deposits. In the case of NIA, you can put a very low deposit. It comes to maybe 10% or so. And if you email me, I'll give you the exact deposits, but they're very reasonable. And then you got nothing else to pay and the developer will even allow you a delayed closing, which never heard of in Ontario. If you ever tried in Ontario to do a delayed closing, is a big problem. Here, it's part of your contract, okay? The entire property is designed. It's got the imported fine white sand. Um, the entire area is built so handicapped. People in wheelchair can access it, which is fantastic. It's got restrooms, it's got public beach, it's got exclusive beach, it's got hotels, it's got large companies. This is a massive, massive undertaking and development, okay? You also have access to all the nature that Costa Rica has to offer. And you know that Costa Rica is one of the largest biodiversity areas in the world. So if you like nature, and you like animals, and you like green, and you like the fact that Costa Rica is one of the greenest countries in the world, that's a great place to be. As far as I know, most of the buyers in Costa Rica properties are Americans, followed by Canadians, and if you watch my Riverland presentation, it'll tell you that the next countries that seem to be buying the most are Australia and Israel, followed by European countries. Okay. There's a full sports, fitness centers, fit, fitness facilities, so you can really live a fitness, healthy life. And here's the good part. You get these beachfront condominiums, which are well-designed, um, some facing the lagoon, and those are facing away from lagoon. You will see them as sunset views. Okay? Both units are good. The units are the same. Uh, for the lagoon view, obviously you pay a little more, there's a premium, and for the sunset view, you'll pay a little less. <clears throat> so if you're a pure investor, you might want to consider the sunset view because it typically will give you a higher ROI, return on investment. Here are some photos or renders of what a typical unit will look like. Okay. These units are well designed, and I'll show you some floor plans in a minute. Um, again, they can face the lagoon, or they can have sunset views, which means facing away from the lagoons. Um, everything is done for you. Now, in Costa Rica, not like in Canada or other places, uh, the unit comes with no appliance, but you can pick an appliance package either by yourself or through one of the approved sellers, vendors for the project will give a discount, a blank discount for all the purchasers. Everything is very modern and if you ever met a Costa Rican architect or builder, 
you know these people are very serious and the quality of work they produce is very, very good.